I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. So in the today's session, we are going to start the new beat, that is the drug interaction. We are going to discuss the herb drug interactions and herb food interaction. I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. In the last session, we have started the point that is herb drug and herb food interaction. In the today's session, we are going to discuss the one of the drug, hypericum. It is uh, also known as the St. John's Wort. It is also known as the St. John's Wort. So the St. John's Wort is a flowering plant. If you can see the flowers, which are yellow in color, then star shape. The synonyms for the St. John's Wort is uh, umber, umber touch and heel, demon chaser, and goat weed. Just see the image, so we'll find that the, it, uh, uh, the plant consists of the star-shaped flowers, which are yellow in color. We are using generally the aerial part for the medicinal purposes. Moving towards the biological source of the St. John's wort. So St. John's wort or the hypericum, it is obtained from the aerial parts of hypericum perforatum belongs to family hypercasi. So it is obtained from, that is the aerial part of the St. John's wort or hypericum, it is obtained from the hypericum perforatum belongs to family hypercasi. See the image, so you will understood the how the aerial parts look looks like and its flowers which are yellow in color and star shape. Moving towards the chemical constituents which are present in the hypericum, if you can see the St. John's wort which comprises the hyperborin and the and hyperforin. It consists of majorly the hyperborin and add hyperforin. Apart from this, there are so many other chemical constituents which are present in the St. John's wort, like flavonoids, then the napto, dianthrone, then phenolic acid, then alkaloid, and some other chemical constituents. Let us see one by one each of the chemical constituents which are present in the hypericum. So the flavonoid like a routine, then quercetin, amantoflavone, myricetin, and camperol, which is present in the St. John's wort. Then the naptodianthrone like a hypericin and pseudohypericin, which is present in the hypericum. Then phenolic acid, choleragenic acid, and the ferulic acids, which are present in the hypericum. The alkaloids, like a caffeine, which is present in the St. John's wort, and certain other chemical constituents, which are present in the hypericum, like tannins, volatile oils, vitamin C, and the saturated fatty acids. You can see the chemical constituents, there are a wide range of phytoconstituents, which are present in the hypericum. So there are many more chances of the drug interactions with the hypericum or the St. John's wort. Let us move towards the uses or health benefits of the hypericum. So hypericum, it is a widely used in the depression, mood disorders, then symptoms of menopause, then the mental disorders, then premenstrual syndrome, then heart palpitation, then attention, deficit, that is hyperactivity disorders, then migraine, weight loss, and skin diseases. So these are the uses of the hypericum. If you can see, it is mainly used for the depression, mood disorders, then mental disorders, and symptoms of menopause. Moving towards the side effects of the hypericum. As it is having a, so many health benefits, so it is being consumed by the 
people as as we are getting the health benefits but when we are considering the health benefit benefits one should consider its side effects also the major side effects when we are consuming the hypericum or saint john's wort may be the diarrhea dizziness then trouble in sleeping then restlessness and skin tingling so these are the some of the major side effects of the hypericum then furthermore we are getting a vivid dreams then the anxiety irritability and stomach upset when we are taking the hypericum along with the sudden anti depressant which are present in the market there might be chances of hallucinations fever then fast heart rate nausea and the vomiting so these are the sum of the side effects of the hypericum so hypericum may produce the diarrhea dizziness then trouble in sleeping restlessness skin tingling then vivid dreams then the anxiety irritability and the stomach upset and when we are taking the hypericum along with the sudden anti depressant there might be chances of hallucinations fever fast heart rate nausea and vomiting so these are the some of the side effects of the hypericum it is a hypericum it is suggested for the anxiety but uh, uh, there is no enough information is available uh, with the st john's wort about its utility in the anxiety so here the anxiety is a one of the side effect of the hypericum let us move towards the drug interactions so very first drug interaction which is related with the enzyme induction so here the hypericum or st john's wort it is going to induce the certain enzymes like a CYP3A4 and CYP3A2, which is responsible for the metabolism of the other drugs, right? So that may leads to decrease in the plasma concentration of the certain drugs. So due to that, the pharmacological effects of these drugs are going to be decreased. So very first drug interaction that is related with the enzyme induction. So hypericum. or st john's wort it is having a ability to induce certain enzymes like cyp3a4 and cyp3a2 that is cytochrome p450 so these enzymes are going to be responsible for the metabolism of the certain drug if the metabolism of the drug it is going to be increased what will happen the concentration that is the plasma concentration of drug it is going to be decrease that may leads to the reduction in their pharmacological action right so one should think about the dosage if we are combining the hypericum with the such medication let us see the one by one the specific drug interactions related with the enzyme induction very first drug interaction that is hypericum with the alprazolam alprazolam it is a anti anxiety drug when we are combining the hypericum with the alprazolam its metabolism is going to be increased and thereby reduction in the pharmacological effects of the alprazolam as you know that the birth control pills which are taken continuously and if the we are taking the hypericum what will happen the effect of birth control pills may get decreased and that may leads to the chances of pregnancy so one should avoid the hypericum if we are taking the birth control pill because the metabolism of the drugs which are present in the birth control pills it is going to be increased then the hypericum it is going to decrease the effect of warfarin and the cyclosporine by enhancing their metabolism by the liver furthermore the metabolism of the warfarin and cyclosporine it is going to be increased in the case of warfarin there might be chances of the risk of blood clotting because warfarin it is going to act as a 
anticoagulant. If the drug it is going to be metabolized, the lesser quantity of drug it is available in the systemic circulation, and thereby its effects are going to be reduced, and that may lead to the blood clotting. Right. Moving towards the HIV drugs. So the effect of HIV drugs are going to be decreased. For example, nelfinavir and uh, ritonavir due to induction of CYP3A4. Then furthermore, the hypericum, it is going to increase the metabolism of phenobarbital and the phenytoin. Phenobarbital and phenytoin, these are the drugs which are going to be used to treat the seizures. If the metabolism of these drugs are going to be increased, there might be chances of precipitation of the seizure. So one should not combine the hypericum with the anti-epileptics. If it is combined, furthermore, we should increase the dose of the phenobarbital sodium as well as the phenytoin. Then, moving towards the anti-cancer drug, like that is the effect of chemotherapy drugs such as the imatinib, irinotecan, and the docetaxel. It is going to be decreased due to increase in the metabolism of the drug. Furthermore, the metabolism of simvastatin and the omeprazole it is going to be increased. So, if the metabolism of omeprazole is going to be increased. Its effects are going to be decreased. Same thing with the simvastatin. Maybe simvastatin is the from antihypertensive category, right? Then furthermore, the anesthetic effect of ketamine it is going to be decreased due to increase in the metabolism. And the last one that is the effect of voriconazole, which is an antifungal drug, it is going to be decreased. So these are the sum of the drug interactions related with the hypericum. So in all these cases, all these are the significant drug interactions because whatever we have seen the drug, see the alprazolam, see the birth control pills, see the warfarin, cyclosporin, then the anti-HIV drug, anti-epileptic drug, chemotherapeutic agent, then antihypertensive drug, proton pump inhibitors, then the anesthetic drug and the antifungal drug. In all these cases, due to enzyme induction, the effect of drug is going to be decreased when we are combining these drugs with the St. John's Port. So this is about the drug interactions related with the enzyme induction. Let us move towards the remaining drug interactions related with the St. John's Port. Again, I have cited here one example related to the enzyme induction. This is a case completely opposite whatever we have discussed previously. In all previous cases, the effect of drug it is going to be decreased. But in this case, whatever the drug is there, which is a pro-drug, as the enzymes, sorry, as hypericum, it is going to induce the certain enzymes which are responsible for metabolism of the drug. If, if whatever the drug is there, it is a pro-drug. What is mean by pro-drug? There is an activation in the body after metabolism, isn't it? Such drugs are going to be activated after enzymatic conversion, isn't it? So here, when we are combining the hypericum with the one of the drug, clopidogrel. So clopidogrel, it is a pro-drug and after metabolism, it is converted into its active form. So the hypericum activates the clopidogrel by enzyme induction, and thereby there might be chances of bruising and uh, bleeding, right? So this is the last drug interactions related with the enzyme induction. So here, there is an activation of the prodrug that may lead to the, to the certain side effects like a bruising and the bleeding, right? Moving towards the drug interactions related with the absorption, that is the alteration in the absorption of the drug. There are two cases are there. In the first case, the hypericum decreases the absorption of a drug. And in the second case, the hypericum increases the
the absorption of a drug. Let us see one by one. So the hypericum decreases the effect of the cardiotonic drug digoxin by reducing its absorption. Digoxin, it is a drug. It is being used for the congestive cardiac failure. Its dose is very, very less. If, the, if we have combined the digoxin with the hypericum, what will happen? The absorption of a digoxin, it is going to be reduced. And that might lead to the reduction in its pharmacological action. And there might be precipitation of the congestive cardiac failure. Furthermore, the hypericum increases the absorption of the prokinamide, and that may lead to the precipitation of the side effects of the prokinamide. So this is about the drug interactions related with the drug absorption, alteration in the drug absorption. Moving towards the next type, that is the serotonergic drug. When we are combining the hypericum or St. John's ward, with the serotonergic drug, there might be chances of precipitation of the certain toxicities because the levels of the serotonin it is going to be increased. So St. John's wort increases the brain chemical that is a serotonin. So when we are taking the hypericum with the serotonergic drug, serotonergic drug, we are going to increase the level of serotonin for example, dextromethorphan and uh, triptans. So that might increase the levels of serotonin and which leads to the serious side effects like the heart problem, seizures and uh, omitting. So this is the case with the serotonergic drug. So one should not combine the St. John's Ward or the hypericum with the serotonergic drug. So here in the case of serotonergic drug, they are going to increase the level of serotonin, right? Then hypericum also increases the level of serotonin. So automatically the concentration of serotonin in the brain, it is going to be increased. And that may lead to the certain side effects. Isn't it like a heart problem, seizure and the omitting. Then the last drug interaction that is related with the photosensitizing drug, one should not combine the hypericum with the photosensitizing drug. Maybe the St. John's wort or the hypericum, uh, it promotes the skin sensitivity. So one should not combine the photosensitizing drug with the hypericum. There might be chances of skin reaction. So this is about the drug interactions of the hypericum. Let us move towards the summary. So in this part, we have discussed the synonyms of the St. John's Ward. So here we are using the aerial part, right, which comprises the flowers, which are yellow in color, star shaped, isn't it? Then the biological source of the St. John's Ward, then chemical constituents which are present in the St. John's Ward, then uses side effects and the drug interactions of the St. John's Ward. Moving towards the references. So these are the some of the references which I have referred to prepare these uh, slides, majorly the WebMD and the uh, MeoClinic.org. So thank you very much. <laughs>